Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mabul and Brain Productions presents the latest installment of whatever it happens to be. Right, now, uh, next week, or after Christmas, you're going to be looking at doing an assessment about what you're going to do with your life and uh, why, you're going to, why languages are important, etc. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what we got here, first of all, the top line here, okay, Keska, which means what, so Keska, okay, tu vas faire, are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do, literally? So, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? Dans la vie, in life. So, la vie, ladies and gentlemen, means in life. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire dans la vie? What are you going to do in life? Pourquoi? Why? Apprendre, literally, to learn les langues, the languages. Why? Learn languages. All right, so there are the two questions, guys. Okay, now, Point out, when we're actually doing the written exercise, this one really is focusing on getting a level four. Okay, if you can combine it then with this one and come up with a good answer, then we're talking about more uh, along the lines of level five. Right, <clears throat> now, sort of phrases that you might want to start off with. It begins sentences and so on. A l'avenir means in the future. Okay, so a l'avenir, a l'avenir, in the future. Après le collège, after school. Au lycée, in the sixth form. À l'université, at university. Pour mon métier, which means for my job. Okay, so they're useful things to actually start off sentences with. Right, let's look at this box down here. Now, we've already learned that je vais means I'm going to. So, for example, I'm going to get myself a nice brand new car. Okay, uh, on va, which means one is going to, but we would probably translate it into good English as we are going to. Okay, so I've given you um, both options there. So you could use on va for general statements. Right, stuff that we haven't really done yet, but we still need to do. Je dois is I must. Now, those who had me last year would, uh, should recognize that as meaning I must. On doit, one must or we must. Je peux, I can. On peut, one can or we can. Again, I did that with um, those I taught last year. Je veux, I want, I want to. So it's quite useful for the future. On veut, we want to. So you really want to be using these within your paragraph that you need to write for your assessment. Okay, you need to really start off with this, this sort of stuff up here, first of all. And then bring in these here, talking about uh, what mu one must do, what one can do, what one can't even say, what one wants to do, and so on. Right, and you then combine it with these sort of phrases down here. Okay, quickly go through them. Avoir une belle moto. Have a beautiful car. Habiter dans un appartement de luxe. Live in an, a luxury apartment. Okay, jouer au hockey pour la France. Play hockey for France. Rencontrer la partenaire de mes rêves. Meet the partner of my dreams. And if you're talking about a masculine partner, that needs to change to E. Right. Faire un apprentissage. Do an apprenticeship. Faire une licence de. Do a degree in. And then you put the subject in here. Travailler pour une entreprise. Work for a business. Habite à l'étranger. Live abroad. Okay, so that's sort of saying the things that you want to do, or can do, or must do, and so on. Okay, <clears throat> you then really want to bring in reasons, and this is where you need to know these words. These are connectives. They, connectives basically are called connectives because they join two parts of a sentence together. For example, uh, I want to go to Paris uh, because it's beautiful there, or... Um, um, I need to buy a car, therefore I need money. That sort of thing. All right. So let's have a look. We've already done these recently, and you already know them. Okay. So you will need to know them for your assessment. Car and a word for because. Com means uh, as, since, or because. De plus, what's more, or in, in addition. Donc, therefore. En ce moment, at this moment. Finalement, finally. U, where. Pourtant, however, can translate as yet as well. And he compris, including. 
Okay, and then these are the sort of things that could come after. You could still use these structures. So, for example, you say because I'm going to become, I don't know, a nuclear physicist. I want to go. I want to go to university because I'm going to become a nuclear physicist. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. Right, straightforward up here. Say it, and then giving reasons why. So, car say or basket say. Utile, useful. Facile, easy. C'est possible. It's possible. Intéressant, interesting. Très intéressant, obviously, very interesting. Fantastic, fantastic. Right, now, um, <coughs> un défi is a French for a challenge. So you could say, this is a challenge. Papiton, exciting. Or you could say, ce n'est pas un neuilleur. It's not boring. Okay, so that is essentially, ladies and gentlemen, what you're needing to uh, sort of cover. These sort of structures, okay, so start, starting off, just quickly recap, you start off with these sort of time phrases here at the top, then combine it with either I go, I want, I must, combine it with something along these lines, and then giving reasons why you want to do these things uh, down here. Okay, all right, and to bring in, we get those level fives, guys, as well as answering that top question there, you really need to just say uh, why you think it's important to learn languages. Okay. Merci beaucoup, mesdames et messieurs.